How can you get Forge in Minecraft 1.21.3? Well, this video is going to be a complete guide on how to do exactly that. First things first, you want to go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our in-depth guide on getting Forge in Minecraft. It goes over everything you need to know to download and install Forge for Minecraft. We're also going to be doing that in this video, though. But if you would like to go things at your own pace or you have a more specific issue, there are some things worth checking out in this article. Once you're here, though, go ahead and click Download Forge, and that will take you to Forge's official download page, where on the left-hand side, you want to select 1.21 and then 1.21. 21.3. So you can see Minecraft 1.21.3 is selected there. And under download latest, we can click on installer, and that will take us off to add focus. We're stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Not a thing. Don't click anything. Just put your hands in the air and wait about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, a red skip button will appear in the top right. That's the only thing you want to click on this page, is that red skip button in the top right. When you click on that, it will go ahead and ask you if you want to keep or save Forge, which we do want to go ahead and do that. As long as Forge is in the title, you're safe to save it. Go ahead and click save, and Forge will begin downloading. Most well, downloading comments from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below. The breakdown dot XYZ slash SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS picked Minecraft server running Minecraft mods from Forge or any mod loader you want. Plus, there's one-click installation of mod packs. It's incredible. And if you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and start your Minecraft server the simple way at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown dot XYZ slash SGH. Now with Forge downloaded, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And if we go to our downloads folder, we will have our Forge installer. So here it is, Forge 1.21.3 installer. Drag and drop that to your desktop, and we can now go ahead and right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. When you do that, the Forge installer will open. But what if you don't have Java here? Or what if you do, you click OK, and it doesn't work? Well, in both of those scenarios, you need Java 21. Java 21 is required for Minecraft Forge to be able to be installed. It's linked in the description down below, and this guide covers everything you need to know on getting it. This guide is linked in the description down below and covers everything you need to know on getting Java up and running for Minecraft mods with Forge. You may also need to run the jar fix. It's going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Forge. But first, get Java then run the jar fix. At this point, we go ahead and minimize our browser and right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. This is going to open up the Forge installer. Well, all you've got to do is click on Install Client and click OK, and it will now install. The only reason this wouldn't have worked is if Minecraft and the Minecraft Launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed, or if you've never played Minecraft 1.21.3 before. If that's the case, just open it up to the main menu, and then close out of it, and you'll be able to install Forge. Now we click OK and delete Forge from our desktop. It's now time to go ahead and play Minecraft using your Forge installation. In order to do that, go ahead and open up the Minecraft Launcher, and and then we can go ahead and click on installations up here at the top. Now, as you can see, I have a Forge 1.21.3 installation. It's good to go. If you don't see that here, make sure mod is checked in the top right. As you can see, if it's not checked, it's not there. But if you check mod it, there it is, Forge 1.21.3. Otherwise, come under new installation here, and we can create a Forge installation. You can name it anything you want, but I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com because it's the easiest way to play Minecraft mods with your friends. And then go ahead and click the version drop down box here. As you can see, there's release 1.21.3 Forge. Click on that, and then we can go ahead and click create in the bottom right. And now we have this new SimpleGameHosting.com profile that most importantly has 1.21.3 dash forge hover over it click play and click play again and now minecraft will open up the reason you have to click play twice is because you're playing modern minecraft and they just want to make sure you know you're doing that now at this point forge is installed but there aren't any mods installed in it how do we install some mods well i'm going to show you that quickly but first you'll need to download some the most popular place to download mods from is curse forge and moderant both of these are linked down below and what's really cool is you can filter to make sure you get the correct mods you cannot install any mod with forge you have to install forge mods there's a new mod loader called neo forge those mods will not work with Forge. They have to be specifically for the Forge mod loader. How do we do that on Curse Forge? Well, we can come down here and select Forge in the mod loaders tab. We can also change our game version to 1.21.3, and there you go. 1.21.3 Forge mods are now showing up. Journey Map, Spark, Terra Blender, and all of the other things that you would want. Serene Seasons, for example, are all here, and you can download those. You can do the same thing on Moderinth. We can filter on the left hand side for Forge. 1.21.3 mods, and all of these will work. For example, you could add 3D layer skins if you wanted to, or mouse tweaks, or Terra Blender again, or any of these can be added now to Minecraft because they're all 1.21.3 Forge compatible. How do you add them to Minecraft once you've downloaded them? Well, it's actually really easy. From the Minecraft main menu with Forge installed, click on Mods, and then click Open Mods folder in the bottom left. When you do, it'll open your Mods folder, and you'll want to drag and drop any Minecraft mods you want to install, as long as they're for Forge 1.21.3, into this Mods folder. Once you've done that, click Done, click Done again, restart Minecraft, Minecraft, and the mods will be active once Minecraft is opened back up. With that being said, you now know how to download and install Forge in Minecraft 1.21.3. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. We'll try our best to help you out, but we'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.